What's going on guys? Welcome back to part two of the 48 volt conversion on my MX650. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the fourth battery along with wrapping up the wiring so we can finally um, put the covers on, charge this thing and take it out for a test drive. So after reviewing the instructions provided by um, fast scooters, and actually I messaged them uh, on the number that's on the controller. Uh, they actually want you to cut here and cut here and take the top bracket out and then stack two batteries directly on top of these ones. And I've only had this bike for two weeks, so I really don't wanna start cutting into it yet and affecting the structural integrity and going too deep in modifications since I'm not really sure what I'm doing with this bike yet long term. So what I've decided is I'm gonna stack the fourth battery up here sideways, figured out that it actually fits. And then I'm gonna be putting um, one inch thick layer of dense foam in between the top two batteries. Uh, then I'm gonna be securing it down in place with two 24 inch heavy duty zip ties. I know I'm gonna have to cut a little section around it on the uh, plastic clamshell that wraps around all the electronics, but I'm completely fine cutting plastics a little bit versus cutting the frame on a new bike. So let's get started. So the reason why I'm sticking one inch dense foam in between the top two batteries is you do not wanna cause damage to the wiring or the terminals. So I'm just gonna trim this piece to completely match the dimensions of the battery. So here's how the fourth battery is going to sit. The dense foam is just keeping the weight evenly distributed across the top of the uh, third battery just to keep the pressure off the uh, terminals. Uh, you are gonna notice that the battery is like quarter inch closer to the right side of the bike. And that's because the battery tray itself is slightly pushed over to the right. So keep that in mind when you are trimming that clamshell, the plastic that wraps around all the electronics. You're gonna have to trim more on the right side than you are on the left side. But as you see, the battery's not going anywhere. It's actually shaking the whole bike. Just trying to move it since it is boxed in there. I like this factory plastic that's there, so it's gonna keep the um, zip tie from sliding down. Now to add the fourth battery uh, to wire it in a series with the rest, we're gonna take this red wire that's uh, coming from this inline fuse. This is actually coming from the uh, positive terminal on the third battery. And then we're gonna connect this to the negative on the fourth battery. And then we're gonna connect the positive on this battery onto the remaining red wire that's on this connector. It's kind of funny. There's a sticker that says, never modify the electrical system. So we're just gonna rip that off and continue doing this. Here's what the wiring looks like, all done. So positive side from this battery, the fourth battery, going to the remaining wire on the connector. Just connected it, so let's find out. Before I was showing 39 volts on the last video, so 52.2, we're all set. Now I'm gonna start trimming the plastics and to wrap over the electronics, then I'm gonna leave this thing on a charger for a while. Before I start trimming some plastics and putting all the covers back on, just wanna do a quick test just to make sure this thing actually runs and functions. 52. Wow. 
definitely sounds like a completely different beast. As far as the charge port, it's on the left cover. The black and red wire, the connector from that, just plugs right into the controller. So it is plug and play, no mods have to be done. Though the left cover, I'm gonna have to carve out a hole here to wrap around the battery so it can slide all the way on. And then I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the other side. So this is where you're gonna have to carve out a hole to fit the battery. Uh, the battery is about six by four dimensions and the right side sticks out about three and an eighth. And on the left side, it's like 2.75, 2.8. Uh, so we are gonna have to cut the right side of the box all the way to the edge and then just leave a little lip on this side to make it about six inches of a hole. So, um, And then I'm just gonna start over here and cut four inches back. Hopefully that looks clean. To cut a hole in the plastic, I'm using this hot knife I got from just Harbor Freight. Hopefully it works well. I've actually never used one before, so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I probably could have done this a little cleaner with a Dremel and a lot of patience, but I wanted to try this out, never used one, and I'm still pretty happy with the results. I got exactly what I wanted, which is a six inch wide hole and about four and an eighth as far as depth goes. Ended up having to cut all the way to both edges anyway to fit the battery, so let's put this back on. Clamshells back on. See there's very little clearance all around it. Tried to do it as clean as I could. Just two wires and the battery sticking out. All the bolts. Alignment still good. Put the top cover back on. Now for the top cover to be fully seated, we are gonna have to cut a corner on both of these ends. And then this should sit down like another third of an inch and then it should sit where it's supposed to. Here's what the cuts look like. Pretty much just to take the shape of the top of the battery. So here's the final product, how it looks with the covers back on. You can't even really tell that it's modified unless you peek in here and see that there's a opening for a fourth battery. But for the most part, you have to go out of your way to see that. So very happy with the way it looks. Hopefully it goes faster than 25, 27 miles an hour. But for now, I'm gonna leave it on the charger hooked up for a few hours just to make sure it's fully charged before we start doing some range testing, top speed, and see the difference in torque. Uh, so if you found today's video to be helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you like this kind of content, want to keep up with this project, see if um, it does reach the 27 miles an hour um, area that I'm targeting, consider subscribing to my channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.